you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. And today we're going to be ranking the Madden Curse. Now, <clears throat> I thought this looked pretty fun. This would be kind of interesting to do. They are about, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 5, 15. There are a total of 20 total Madden covers here. So guys, as you know how this works, you guys know what the Madden curse is. There's this ongoing conspiracy that whenever you get voted as the cover of Madden, you end up being cursed shortly there on after, like in your career. There's always, and there's always been instance of it, which is super funny actually. So I thought this would be funny to do. And guys, I am on vacation, so like I've been telling you guys, I want to do some fun videos to do, nice and easy, something to enjoy this week since Madden 20 is almost garbage at this point. So, let's get into it guys, before we get though into it, make sure to subscribe down below, hit that noti bell boys, comment down below as I do these, let me know who you think are the most cursed versus the worst cursed, like who's your most cursed player, let me know down below in the comments, but without further ado, let's get into this, so, number one, Larry Fitzgerald, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with not cursed in my opinion, he still had a great career, he never, he never really, you know, he didn't do much the last, the last few years in terms of like winning, they haven't won much, the Cardinals have sucked, but Larry still gets his stats, Larry's been a great player, always been great i really don't think madden affected him too much and now guys i'm not going off next directly next season after being on madden i'm going over the rest of their careers um troy palomalu right pretty sure that's palomalu uh not cursed still had a great career ended up getting a gold jacket he was fine so you so far these two are just like you know first bout hall of famer type guys i'm pretty sure palomalu's in already could be wrong larry fitzgerald will be there as soon as he decides to retire Next, we got Drew Brees. Now, Drew Brees obviously had some issues for a little bit. I believe he tore his ACL at some point or something. I believe he had a pretty big injury. Ended up going to the Saints. But this is pretty much, I believe when he was on the covers already on the Saints, though. So, as far as the Saints career is one, he's been really good. I mean, he's had some issues. Let's put him in somewhat cursed because he has dealt with some He has dealt with some bad luck. Such as the Rams hit sticking the hell out of his uh, receiver or whatever it was. Which should have been pass interference and the Saints getting knocked out of the playoffs. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go with someone cursed. Now Peyton Hillis is the next one. Now Peyton Hillis, after that cover, pretty much went to trash and never heard of again. Uh, like as a good running back. So I'm gonna go to him in kind of cursed. Again though, him getting the cover to begin with was kind of just like a hype fan vote kind of thing. So I'm not gonna attribute it to like he should have been there to begin with, like he was that great, but he wasn't bad. Calvin Johnson. I'll put him as kind of cursed. After that, after that happened. After he got the Madden cover, the Lions didn't really win ever much. He was getting hurt a little bit. He started regressing pretty heavily after that. And then, and then he retired early. It was kind of like a whole messed up thing from there on out. Adrian Peterson, Madden 25. Uh, yeah, I mean, he got he got hurt a lot after that. He got hurt a few times. He had bounced around teams. And he, he really was never the same after that Madden 25. But again, he did have to be that he... Oof. He had the ACL tear in 2012. He had a great year. Then he came back. I believe he tore his ACL again, or it was MCL? I don't remember. Or his meniscus. I think. I think it was his ACL. But yeah, I'm gonna put him in kind of curse. Richard Sherman. I'll put him in kind of curse as well. He be, after that the Legion of Boom. I mean, I could be wrong on the dates here, but this may fall right in line with Russell Wilson throwing these slant picks to Malcolm Butler, so they don't win that year. Then Sherman ends up tearing his ACL at some point, missing a year. Then he ends up on the 49ers. They make it all the way to the ball and they lose. So Sherman has definitely been a little bit cursed. Gronkowski. Gronkowski, I mean, he's won a lot, but... It... See, the, the Super Bowls that he's lost in or hasn't got to play in because he was hurt were before he was on the cover. Post-cover, though, he kept getting hurt. He got hurt quite a bit, and then he ended up retiring just because of the injuries he was having. And he, I believe he finally got to play in a Super Bowl. I'm pretty much kind of cursed as well because he's not full-blown cursed. Because he did win some bowls. He still, had, he still had a great time. And he did retire early. Tom Brady. Um, not cursed. Tom Brady's not cursed. He's been on the cover. Did nothing but great things. Won another bowl. Now he's in Tampa. He's okay. Antonio Brown is the definition of cursed. I should make another category called Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown is super cursed. Ever since he's been on the cover of Madden. Literally, guys. Last year, Madden 19. One of the best artists in the league. Went on the cover of Madden. Ends the year. The whole recording scandal, the whole thing with Mike Tomlin, not wanting to play. Le'Veon Bell holding out. Big Ben concussions. Then he gets cut from the team or gets traded from the team, ends up at the Raiders. Almost gets sued, almost gets kicked off the team again. Ends up getting kicked off the team. 
bunch of stuff. Then he ends up with the Patriots. Accused of like sexual assault, allegedly. Gets kicked off the gets kicked off the Patriots. Here we are now. He is super cursed. He is the epitome of being. He's the literally. He is cursed. I'll give him that. Um. Ooh, this guy's name is uh George Earl George Earl. George. It's George something or Earl something. I don't remember right now. Um. I wouldn't say he was cursed. He had a pretty good career. I'll put him in somewhat. No, I don't think he was cursed. Again, a little bit older. Not gonna. Not 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 one of the best memory on him. Patrick Mahomes, not cursed. He's not cursed at all. He went into the. We went onto the Madden cover and then proceeded. He did get hurt though. Ooh, maybe it's from him somewhat cursed. As soon as he went on the Madden cover, he instantly went out for like a quarter to half the season, and they luckily survived through it. And then he won the Super Bowl, but they tried. They tried to end him. And then in, in the playoffs, they went down like 21 nothing fast, twice back to back games. They made all the comebacks in the Super Bowl. Someone was trying to make him lose there. I'm telling you guys. The curse tribe. Pat Mahomes is too good for any curse to hold him back. So that all worked out. Barry Sanders. Um, I'm not gonna put him on curse because he was on the cover way after, way, way after I think his career was he was his career was over. So I'm not gonna put him I'm talking well, I'm referring to the Madden 25 cover. I don't know if he was ever on an old old cover, but I don't think so. Dante Culpepper. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm putting there. I believe that is Marshall Folk. He had a great career. He's fun. Great career. 2,000 yard, like, uh, receiving and rushing yard combined record. Michael Vick is definitely super cursed. Ever since he was on that cover, things went down. I mean, obviously he did it to himself. He was one of the greatest quarterbacks on that cover. Then slowly but surely, you know, there was criminal acts, the whole dog fighting thing. Then he comes back. He ends up on the Eagles. A ton of concussions and injuries. Then he comes back again. Ends up on the Jets, I believe. Nothing there. Or is it the was it the Steelers and Jets? Jets, I forget the order. And then the Jets, Steelers, same thing. Nothing really there. Couldn't get his couldn't get his feet back. So it's kind of it there. Ray Lewis, not cursed at all. Won multiple Super Bowls, I believe. I mean, just say multiple. I mean, I believe it was two or three. I'm pretty sure it was two, but it could be three. Played great until his final final days, and uh, Hall of Fame. So yeah, there's not much more to say about that. Donovan McNabb. Uh, I mean, he never really, they were never really able to win, even with the team they had, which just sucks. Like in you know the big game with To and everything, I don't believe McNabb has a ring. Could again, don't kill me for this. Don't you know? Five before my time, but we we'll go somewhat. Then we got number ten here. Ooh, who is this guy? Guys, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna leave him at the back. I don't, I don't know him, and I don't, I know, I know this guy, but I don't know his name. Let's go with the two I do know. I don't want to be ranking guys I don't know. So Odell, I'm going to put Odell in Cursed. I think Odell, ever, he, he was going big. He had his catch, everything going on. He gets the cover of Madden. He becomes a diva. The kicking net happens. Engaging to the kicking net happens. Hurting his face on the kicking net happens. Excessive celebrations. The Giants sucking. The um, Miami boat playoff loss. Devontae Adams, Hail Mary before halftime. Odell drops. That was just a sad. It was just bad after that. Uh, he ends up going to the Browns. Baker and him can't connect. It was just all kinds of messed up. I put him on curse. And then Brett Favre, he's not cursed. He had a great career. Had some rings. Even played to his late days. Had a lot of concussions, but I don't think that's because he was cursed. You guys, about it for the video. I think that pretty much wraps up everything. I don't know these two guys. If you guys happen to know who these two guys are? Down below in the comments, let me know. I know, like this guy right here. I know him, but I can't remember his name. And this guy too. They look so familiar. I just, I, I can't get the picture. Is too tiny for me right now. You guys know them, comment them down below and don't roast me too hard for not knowing them. Just let me know who it is kindly and then we will go ahead and I will give you guys in the comments who, where I'm ranking them. Uh, you've probably seen this video like Friday at this point though or Thursday so a few days from today but I'll, I'll know eventually. I'll probably, I mean by the type of time I might have found them out but just let me know. Oh and give me his name. Was It, it was Earl. More of the story. We don't know. So you guys gotta help me with that one but yeah let me know where you guys want to move some players. Let me know what you guys think. Should I have done this based off of the year after only, not the careers? I think careers are a little bit more fun because year after, I'd have to really do research on each one because, again, like Madden 17 releases before, which is really the year coming up. So, like, I always got to, like, you know, I got to look everything up. But, guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you aren't into the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to my boys. Come join the family. If you're not joining for now, that's fine. Just hit it now. Hit that subscribe now. Come join so you can be here for Madden 21. It's going to be our year. Hopefully, it's a really fun year and a really exciting growth year for my channel and our community, guys. So, that's about it. Make sure to comment down below, though. Don't forget to just let me know who these guys are. I really do want to know. Finish his name for me. Let me know who these two guys are in general. And, yeah, that's about it. Make sure to smash that like button. I'm out. Peace.